This article contains affiliate links, we will receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more another season of Claire Fraser, played by Katrina Balfe, and her husband Jamie, Sam Hewen, is finally on the way, with more episodes of Outlander beginning on Stars this June. Ahead of one of the biggest TV events of the year, the network has given fans another taste of what to expect when they return to Fraser's Ridge. Warning, this article contains major spoilers for Outlander Season 7. Fans have worked out some hidden double meanings and connections to Diana Gabaldon's original novels in the episode titles for Outlander's seventh season. On Tuesday, the Stars Network revealed the titles of the first eight episodes of the seventh season, which will air over the summer. The episodes will be named A Life Well Lost, The Happiest Place on Earth, Death Be Not Proud, A Most Uncomfortable Woman, Singapore, Where the Waters Meet, A Practical Guide for Time Travelers and Turning Points. As well as more globe trotting, time traveling and family drama, some eagle-eyed viewers have spotted some huge clues for what's in store when the Frasers return to screens. Watch Outlander for free with Lionsgate Plus Trial on Amazon View Deal on Reddit, you slash the pack survives noticed several episodes have pulled their titles straight from the pages of Gabaldon's sixth and seventh novels, A Breath of Snow and Ashes and An Echo in the Bone. They wrote, A life well lost, Sazanak, I would have done the same, and counted my life well lost, if it saved ye. If he feels the same, then you've done me wrong to him, to take your life from his hand. Jamie to Claire after Tom's sacrifice, Abosa, Chapter 98 The happiest place on earth, Brianna telling Jamie about Disneyland, Abosa, Chapter 52 A most uncomfortable woman, you are a most uncomfortable woman. Tom to Claire when they meet in New Bern and Claire discovers he hasn't been executed, Echo, Chapter 19. A practical guide for time travelers, the notebook in which Brianna and Roger record everything they know and suspect about time travel, Echo, Chapter 5. Sick, according to the quotes, newcomer Tom Christie, Mark Lewis Jones, will continue to play a major role in the next season though all three Christies could be dead by the end of the first or second episode. The titles have also hinted at Roger McKenzie, Richard Rankin, and Brianna's, Sophie Skelton, return to the 20th century after Claire's daughter gives birth. Don't miss! SWAT sneak peek tease up new romance for key characters, video, American Pickers Danielle Colby showered with support, tribute, Ted Lasso star hints at possible movie spin-off after final season 3, interview, another fan, you slash Joel Yarrows, pointed out, I'm imagining that 701 will have a double meaning. Not just Tom's life, but, his son. Alan's, Alexander Vlahos. And then 702 must be the departure of the McKinsey's, everything seems to be happening so soon. To which the original poster replied, I think you're right about Alan's death. It would mean Alan dies before the McKinsey's leave in the show, I don't think they've ever found out who killed Malva, Jessica Reynolds, in the books. The upcoming season could feature some major departures from Gabaldon's work, as well as plenty of death and drama, but it will be a must-watch for Outlander fans ahead of its 8th and final installment. Outlander Season 7 will premiere on Stars on Tuesday June 16 in the USA and on Lionsgate Plus in the UK. It would mean Alan dies before the McKenzie's leave in the show, I don't think they've ever found out who killed Malva, Jessica Reynolds, in the books. The upcoming season could feature some major departures from Gabaldon's work, 
as well as plenty of death and drama, but it will be a must-watch for Outlander fans ahead of its 8th and final installment. Outlander Season 7 will premiere on Stars on Tuesday, June 16 in the USA and on Lionsgate Plus in the UK.